Hi, it's Dave. It, this is a follow-up from the episode of seven of Fireside Chats last night. Um, I guess it's about 2.30 in the morning again. I'm just outside again, all night long again tonight. We're, this is the alley that we're in tonight. Isn't that great? Um, the really disappointing thing I just need to point out today is um, nothing was done today. Not a single thing. I brought up all these points last night about what has been done and the fact that I am like uh, right now I'm freezing to death right now I have no winter coat because I was just left um, it was taken from me <laughs> by the police um, yeah in the last hour I guess I've been stalked by about five police cars which is just great exactly what is not needed right now um, <clears throat> with the fact that Let's remember, the United States stole $3 from me, the last $3 in I had in my pocket. The Department of Homeland Security guy reached into my pocket and took it out. I didn't even realize it was gone until I got to the train station and I realized I had no money. And the security guard there, before I even bought the ticket or asked for someone to, who kindly gave me money to get it, told me he was, he was calling the police to arrest me and I, like, I hadn't even entered the station yet. So they... The guy took the $3, stole my last $3 in preparation for hoping that I was going to be imprisoned and I was going to be arrested because I was not paying the $3 fare. Like, I don't know what to say to you folks anymore because nothing is getting through to any of you at this point. I see, I see the Illuminati is just being jackasses and Stephen Harper and ruining my life. But I see everyone else there just sitting by doing nothing and more or less treating me the exact same way, just ignoring any need I have. Like, I, I can't seem to get this across. I have post-traumatic stress disorder and I have no money. I have no money. I have no food. Today was an awful day in reaction to what was clearly an attempt to try to get some something more positive going in my life right now, the direct result was hostility that was out of control. I, I begged and begged and begged for hours and got like two or three dollars. I was barely enough to get a, a hot chocolate or one coffee. And that was it. it like I, I couldn't get anything to eat. I couldn't get anything to drink. I couldn't get a coffee. I couldn't get a cigarette. I was just left in a desperate state all day long. I need all of you. I need this to be really clear. I need every single one of you out of my life now. I am suffocating. I am smothering. I am just, just, just goddamn fucking trapped by all of you. There's thousands of people here all following me around thousands of miles across the country and doing nothing. I don't understand how the CIA can put me in here twice and none of you do anything. Like the solution today, I need a couple of hundred dollars because I keep getting stolen every month. I've had thousands of dollars stolen. I've had over $5,000 stolen from me in the last year alone. That's the reason I'm here. That's the reason I have no money and I'm homeless is because I keep getting stolen. Stephen Harper keeps stealing money every single month and everybody else just looks around who's in here you saw them steal my winter jacket and you did nothing you saw them steal my shoe and did nothing this is folks this is what the reality is and what i'm facing here this is why i'm sleeping in street corners like this it's freezing cold just imagine sleeping like the, on this, like just imagine this is my evening. This is what I'm expected to sleep in. I am getting more and more depressed. And frankly, the way that you're all acting and starving me to death of food and water and sleep and warmth and bed, you're deliberately driving me to suicide. There's no way any human can survive all of this and you have trillions of dollars and you're starving me to death and depriving me of even the luxury of a cigarette or a tiny little cot and a tiny little light to get some sleep. I haven't been able to do that in months. 
this has to be recorded that the Illuminati and Canada's secret police and the American government are attempting to drive me to suicide. And together, this complete deprivation of any food or any substance, any warmth, a coat, a shoe, is driving me to suicide. I'm not saying I'm there now, but you're all pushing me there. 